Hey YouTubers, it's EMDSD14R with a cool video today. This is the recent um, Model Railroad magazine. It's actually dated for January 2012, which is cool. I like the picture on the front, I actually have one of these units. Um, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about. Um, I'm going to be talking about some cool stuff that's in here. Um, um, some cool trains and some other stuff, okay? Let's see, um, Atlas is bringing out their 53 articulated well cars. Exact Rail's bringing out their Thrall 2244 Gondola Rock Island boxcar. Uh, that's pretty cool. MTH came out with their GG1. Athern Genesis brought out the uh, Mountain, Southern Pacific Mountain type, which is the MT4 with the Skyline casing. Um, this particular locomotive comes with um, DCC and sound. Um, soundtrack tsunami sound. Um, it has the seam whistle and the air horn. Love the skyline casing Pacifics. I mean, not Pacifics. Um, mountain type. Sorry, but I am correct that Southern Pacific did have some Pacifics with the skyline casing, as did uh, the 484 GS1 to GS4 series Northerns had the skyline casing. But I really like that one. Um, yeah, it's my dad watching football. Pre-production sample of the MTH Jeep 35. Um, let's see, Concord is bringing out the Reading Crusader early next year, um, the New Haven Commons coming out late, came out late this year, it's up for sale, 300, it's, uh, $459, the MP54s are already out, um, they came out late this year, so I'm gonna be getting some of those, and then the Model Railroad Sweepstakes, I've been putting this... I've been sending this off for a couple years since they started doing it, and I haven't won yet, which sucks. But anyway, moving on. Where are the goodies? Union Pacific cars from Walther's. Prices are really low, $69, $79. Not like it was earlier this year, last year. Ah, train, uh, trainland.com. You can get a brand spanking new U50 from them for $189. You can also get a brand new Veranda Turbine with or without tender for $150. That's cheap. You can even get the brand new Athern Genesis with DCC and sound for $219. The Athern um, Genesis DD48X is approximately $379 with sound and it's $279 without sound. So it's still pretty high on that one. Um, let's go over to Cato. Cato, you can get a SD70 Mac for $124. Um, you can get a brand new Kato F40PH without sound for 84 bucks. Now that's cheap. A Kato F40PH for 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 almost for for 90 dollars practically. That's cheap. Um, bi level commuter coaches and cab cars are 46 dollars and 99 cents. The Superliner cars are also 46.99. They're having a whole lot of stuff on sale. This is really cool. This is this is a uh, I forget his name uh, uh, I forget his name but when I was in the eighth grade I saw this railroad on a website um, I saw this railroad on a website and actually one of my friends actually many of my Facebook friends are friends with the guy that owns this layout Big Island Rail I remember this railroad when I was in the eighth grade I think it was the eighth or sixth grade I saw a picture of his layout. Um, goes into detail about his scenery. This is a, a, a what if Hawaii had their own railroad. Um, very, very detailed information about it. Um, there's the layout track plan. Very interesting layout. I like the lights on that switcher there too. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff in here. Sugar cane. That, that's really cool how he scratch built those cars. Um, this is uh, a special uh, section on how to put uh, DCC and sound into a compact switcher. Now, this is your standard uh, GE44 tuner, but I, th but I believe you can also use this um, compact sound decoder system in other locomotives like um, your compact um, Hustler units or your AEM7s. This is an ESU loco sound decoder. ESUs, you know, they're they're known for making great decoders, just like Tsunami is, but they're prim they, they primarily are known for making good electric locomotive sound decoders in my opinion. Um, this shows you how to put uh, the decoder system in an Athern, uh, a Bachman Spectrum, I'm sorry, Bachman Spectrum uh, GE44 tunner. These are the areas you have to remove as you can see here. 
So yeah, I highly recommend getting this magazine. Um, it shows you how to make a kit bash offset swing bridge. I think that's really cool. Shows you step by step how to do it. And that shows the clearance for double stackers and commuter coaches and whatnot. A whole bunch of details. Um, this is building the Virginian with um, in a 4x8 space and more. Shows you what you can do with 4x8. Very versatile. ECC and sound uh, layout. ECC equipped, I mean. Um, shows you how to make weed patches and stuff in here. How to make sound in your backdrops. And scale urban terminal railroad here. Um, this is how to install a DCC decoder right the first time. Um, but this is about the U50. Really cool. Now the thing is, Athern, directly from the manufacturer for DC, they're listing it at 269 But at trainland.com, you can get it for 160, 189 so you can get the same engine from Trainland, brand spanking new, for 189 bucks, as opposed to 269, which is the which is the regular price for the DC version directly from Athern Genesis, which is crazy. The uh, DCC and sound equipped version runs about three, 350, 360 something. So yeah, you'll be saving your, you'll be getting the same, you'll be getting. You'll be getting more for your dollar if you go with trainland.com because you can get the same stuff there for a lower price. I like how the locomotive it is very detailed. Um, I wish my camera was clearer, but anyway. Um, these are the blower details. The, the downside of it is, even though it has 4, 8, 12, 16 wheel pickup, only 4 out of the 16 wheels are powered, which is a little bit of a downside. But... I, uh, it's a little bit of a downside, but I like it anyway because it still has that pulling power there. I still it has it still has the pulling power. Um, great model, great detail. Uh, I'm probably gonna get me one. I'm definitely gonna get if yes, I, there is no probably and I am gonna get me one if I can get one of these for a hundred and hundred and ninety dollars. <laughs> that's a steal. I would be a fool not to get one of those. I would be a fool. I would be a fool not to get one of these. Plus I got what. I got three Centennials in my collection anyway. Hello, perfect fit. Except mine won't be painted Union Pacific. I'll be painting one for my railroad. But it will be numbered in its original number. It'll be the only one on my road. Only U50 on my road. So Now this is where I really wanted to get to. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Bachman Spectrum has finally released the... Transformer transfer transformer car the 380 ton now a lot of you youtubers have seen this car in person And you've posted videos of it. You've probably seen it on railroad rail, railpicks.net or some other website You also probably know that Bachman China had The Chinese version of this released a couple years before and then Trex had their own version which is the European version, but this is the North American version that you see, the big red one, that super big 16 set of wheels, that huge one. Um, I've seen several videos of it. I mean, it comes in three different colors. This is your red one, this is your blue, uh, black frame with black trucks, this is your silver with black frame and black trucks. The thing, the, the funny thing is, I mean, this car is almost three feet long. It's 27.5 inches long. That is crazy. My F2D Pennsylvania generator car is a little bit over a foot long. This thing is huge. It, it, they recommend that you run it on 22. It performs best on 22 radius curves, but I think 24 to 38 inch radius would be a lot better for the car. Um, downside is it's almost three hundred dollars, <laughs> and and granted, yes, I understand why it's three hundred dollars because it's already put together. It's probably made out of heavy-duty plastic. It's probably got a lot of metal parts, which you come to expect from Bachman Spectrum. Um, a few years ago, there was a couple companies offering these as styrene kits or cast resin kits that were like oh three hundred dollars or something like that. 
but you had to find your own trucks and your own coupler boxes downside to that or you had to go and buy a brass one or you had to buy the Bachman China version or you had to buy the Trex version which was like I don't even remember the price but it was a lot of money but um I am thinking about getting I'm probably I I bet you trainland.com is going to have these on there for way cheaper than $250 a car. I bet you that they will be selling these for about maybe 190, maybe $200 a car. Maybe 180. If it's 180 a car, I'll get two of them with my income tax. There is no way I'm paying there's no way I'm paying half a grand for two cars. There's no way. There's no way. I rather if I'm gonna pay if if I can't get it cheaper, I'll just buy one and I'll be saying that's it. I'll buy one and I'll be I'll be set for a good uh, a good while. But I really want this car. I'll probably be getting it sometime next year. Well, actually no, in two months when I get my income tax in. Ooh, I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff with that income tax money. But anyway, enough about the money. Also, I forgot to mention tsunamis having a sale under decoders. The MC1Z102 decoder, which is a two-function, one-app, N-scale decoder, six-pin plug-in, DCC, 24 bucks. Um, the Atlas HO scale MC2H104AT decoder, which is an Atlas-style decoder. That means it can fit in all types of Atlas units, from your RS2 all the way up to your um, your Jeep 38-2 models, I believe. It's 23 bucks. So if you buy these decoders right now that are on sale, you can spend you can get you can you can put sound and DCC in your locomotive for less than fifty bucks as opposed to spending a hundred and some my dollars. So if I were you, I would go and get these prices. Sometimes I wait till the end of the year because that's when the best sales happen. Um but yeah, really like that car. And then this is the new Cato Amtrak Inner city passengers that you get your P42, your baggage, and fleet coach, and fleet lounge, and you get your view liner sleepers. The whole set retails for, which your whole set, which is DC, your DC version retails for 250, which whereas your DCC set retails for 360. Um, the new Metra Cato set in here, Atlas reissued the. Train Master with new tooling. A lot of stuff are, a lot of stuff's been reissued with retooling this time around. It's really cool. The advertisements are here. Um yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Where are they? Ah, here we go. This is the Cato Metra set. You get you get your MP thirty you get your MP thirty six PH, you get your three coaches, and you get a cab car with directional lighting. Yeah, buddy? Dallas? Yeah. Good. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't think so either. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my team. I like Dallas. But anyway, yeah, back to the trains. Um, I hope Cato decides to release these in HO scale. Um, I forget what was it. I think it was um. Trainland. What was it? Trainland. Railway Miniatures or something. There was a company, I forget what their name is, but they released the MP36 PH and HO scale and the MP36C PHC, I believe. I forget. I think I'm getting that name wrong in the second version, but they released it in HO scale with sound and DCC. I want one. 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 Maybe two would be better. I think I'll get two. But yeah, the Cato set retails for $185. That includes the engine three cars and your track set so 185 bucks is not that bad and you know just out of curiosity I might get me an N scale set just out of curiosity because I do have an N scale box car it's a Sioux line box car it doesn't have the knuckle couplers on it but I might as well I mean 185 bucks for, for all of this that's cheap and then you can buy the coaches you can buy the coaches separately for 30 bucks a piece. That's cheap. That is really cheap. So, I might just go ahead and do that. I might just uh, just experiment and buy that little end scale set. I might just do that. It'd be the first and only end scale set I got, but 
it would be something nice to carry around with me as opposed to lugging an HO layout around, but uh, I just like them. I have the Amtrak, HO Amtrak cars um, of these trains, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what this, this book had to offer, and I highly recommend you guys getting it because you guys will be foaming at the mouth when you see these on the shelves, but hopefully in a couple of months those prices will drop down. But if you're going to get the Sh Schnenable transfer car, it's probably going to be up on trainland.com more than likely because, let me go back here, so many pages, so many goodies, I like this, I like, I like books like this, there is it, I went past it, there we go, trainland, you can get, matter of fact, let me just go here, you can get Athern Genesis FP45s and F45s for 150 bucks. You can get SC45-2s for 192 dollars. That's with taxes. 90. Uh, actually, the taxes are included. I included the taxes in there. Um, and you can get the SC60M from Athern Genesis for 209. You can get a brand spanking new MP15AC for 179 dollars. Now I know y'all remember when those first came out. They were like 200 something my dollars for sound and DCC but $179 for tsunami sound or MRC sound equipped units that's cheap that is cheap you can even get a Q2 on here for 575 it's not bad still a little bit high but that's because it's a brass and plastic hybrid um, you can get the new Atlas gen set for 79 bucks that's cheap that's a lot cheap but um yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. I um, hope you guys catch up on this because uh, these books, I'm telling you, y'all, these books are flying off the shelves. Flying off the shelves. So I highly recommend uh, getting one, all right? You guys be cool. Have a happy holidays. Oh, and also I wanted to say thank you to everybody for all the subscribing that y'all been doing supporting my channel god bless you i hit 300 subscribers yesterday thank you god bless y'all thank you thank you so much for subscribing to my channel continue to subscribe to my channel continue to support me in, in my in this hobby and um and in the videos that i do because i will be getting more videos up soon um so yeah i just wanted to say god bless y'all thank you thank you so much all right you guys be cool have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Be safe uh, when rail fanning. And uh, get get this book. Because um, I tell you, these prices on that Trainland website, they're subject to change. They say that. so. Um, but hopefully they won't be changing anytime soon. But I highly recommend, if you want to get brand new stuff for dirt cheap or way below... Way below store prices go to this website train trainworld.com i'm sorry i was saying the wrong world i was saying trainland it's train world trainworld.com i'm sorry oh actually no i was right okay it's both trainworldonline.com but it's also called trainland okay so i was right both times but it's trainland it's trainworldonline.com i'm sorry so yeah and their phone number is 1-800-541-7010. Okay? So, thank you guys again. God bless you. And later.